So I was on Reddit, that's not surprising. I spent a lot of my day browsing Reddit, but anyway. I came across a post asking physicians about what COVID deniers do when they get diagnosed with, you know, COVID. One physician reported that one of his patients was diagnosed and refused treatment because they thought that the doctor was misdiagnosing them so that the doctor could take the fluid in their knees. I thought, wow, no one is that stupid, right? So I did some googling and I couldn't find anything. I was bummed, but I was relieved until I decided to go to 4chan. I won't share the post with you here because it's particularly vile, even for 4chan standards. And I don't recommend anyone use 4chan, but the gist of the post is that people think that doctors all around the world are misdiagnosing people with COVID, killing them, and then taking their precious knee fluid to sell on the black market. According to them, knee fluid is very valuable, especially in white adult males. The logic is that according to them, and keep in mind this is according to them, white males cannot contract COVID because... Well, you probably know where this is going. Spoiler alert, it's racist and involves Nazis. At this point, I had kind of lost all faith in humanity, but I figured I might as well quickly explain why this doesn't make any sense. Let's first start with the knee fluid, because you might be surprised that you do actually have knee fluid. It's called synovial fluid, and it just acts as a lubricant in all of your joints to keep them functioning well, kind of like oil in a car. If you don't have enough fluid in your joints, they won't be lubricated, and you might experience pain leading to conditions like osteoarthritis. To counteract this, doctors will inject hyaluronic acid, which helps keep the synovial fluid at a healthy consistency and will minimize pain. The biggest problem with the conspiracy theory is that synovial fluid is not worth anything. Doctors who extract synovial fluid only do so to decrease swelling, analyze the fluid to diagnose a patient with a joint condition, and or use it for study. You can't do much else with the stuff. Your tears, literal human tears, are worth a lot more than synovial fluid. There are plenty of other problems with this conspiracy, but to me that's the most prominent one. And I wish I knew where people came up with this stuff, and who on earth would actually believe it. The theory might be slightly more credible if they chose spinal fluid instead of knee fluid. See, a few years ago there was a gang in Pakistan who would extract spinal fluid from their victims. They would then sell the fluid on the black market. This is because spinal fluid has some value, either to crazy medical doctors or homeopathic doctors who are crazy in other ways. Knee fluid doesn't really have any value. Also, why does it have to be specifically knee fluid? All your joints have synovial fluid. Is the knee fluid better? They could have connected elbow fluid and elbow grease together and said that doctors sell elbow grease on the black market. Huge, huge missed opportunity, really. The problem is that most people who come up with or, you know, believe these conspiracy theories don't think. They're morons. They don't read, they don't apply logic, they don't even try to be clever. They just sit on 4chan or parlor or wherever in their echo chambers with their fellow morons. So why do they do this? Why do they subject themselves and others to this arrogant misery? Maybe it's to cope. Maybe they're all just trolls. We might never know. But instead of trying to answer a question that can never be answered, I'm just gonna wait for my second COVID shot to make the 5G signal on my phone better. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. You know the drill, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do my next video on and I might actually do it.